Hello and welcome to 7 Steps to Organizing Your Home, A Family's Lasting Solution, Organizing the Chaos. This is Module 1 and we've broken up into two different parts. So this is Part A and they should be around 5 to 6 minutes apiece. My name is Davina and I'm a mom of 5. I'm a wife to a hotshot trucker and I'm also a continuous improvement consultant by day, which means I... Um, my skill set is space organization, standardization, process improvement, those types of things. And then, of course, because I have five crazy kids, I am by default a chaos manager. And in these next couple of videos, I'm going to teach you about the five S's for organizing success, the benefits of organizing your home, how to identify if a room in your home actually needs to be organized, and then I'm going to introduce you to the steps, the seven steps that I'm going to take you through in organizing your home. So 5S is one of the tools that I'm going to teach you to use, and it is basically a methodology for organizing your home. Um, there's five easy steps to follow. It makes it super simple, and it is um, something that even your children can follow along with. So what a 5S does for you is it helps you have a better organized space. It gives you visual cues and visual management for your items. So just like in this picture here, in these containers, I know that the container that says cashews, there's going to be cashews in it. The container that's labeled brown sugar, I know it's going to be brown sugar. And I can look and see the coconut sugar and brown sugar are super similar. Their colors aren't, aren't, um, aren't that far apart. But I know that if I look at the coconut sugar and the brown sugar, I know I'm going to grab the right one versus my, grabbing the wrong one. And then you have your standards for how your space should be maintained. So how clean is clean? How often do you clean? What does that look like? And then all of this put together will help you have... Um, an overall better cleanliness of your space. So the five S's, we're going to go through them briefly here, but I will really touch on them individually later in the modules. So sort is just you identify your needed items from your unneeded. And I really like to have people take the items out of their space that they're going to clean and just pull them out and get a clean slate and sort them outside of the space so that whenever you go in to clean, you don't have to clean around stuff. Everything's moved out. It's easier to do your sweeping, your mopping, your scrubbing, um, doing any repairs or any painting you have to do without all the clutter around you. And then once you get your space clean and you have that wonderful clean foundation, then you're going to go back and put all those items back in that you're going to keep. And you're going to put needed items where you use them the most. Those are going to be what is in the forefront that you can easily grab. And then your items that you might not use as much will be put in areas that aren't as easy to reach and are a little bit more out of the way. And basically, it's kind of the motto for 5S is a, you have a place for everything and everything is in its place. And then the fourth um S is standardized, and this will be what you do to make the rest, those first three five S's a habit, the first three S's of a five S a habit. And then of course the sustainment piece, this is the hardest one, but it is also the most important. This is where you set your standards and your schedule for how you're going to keep everything clean and organized. So the benefits of a five S, the benefit of a five S is that you take your home from um, complete and utter chaos where you might have been embarrassed if someone randomly showed up your door and they'd walk into a messy home to a home that's clean and organized and it's a safe space that even if someone walked in randomly off the street and they had to use your bathroom or something, it would be clean and organized and you wouldn't have to be embarrassed. It also keeps you from having to search for items. You know where everything is. It is set up where your kids can also ben um, benefit and help out keeping the, the space clean. So it gives you that feeling of family com camaraderie that you guys did something amazing together and are sustaining it together. And it also creates an organized and clean space that everyone in your family can use and maintain. So the whole point of this isn't for your house to not feel that it's lived in, for it to be so like squeaky clean. You don't feel like you can do anything in there. Like you're afraid of um, spilling something because, oh my gosh, we're out of standards. That's not what this is meant to do. Your children should still be able to play. They should still be able to make their messes. They just need to know that once they make that mess, these are what they need to do to get it picked up. And then it's expected that it's cleaned up every single day and that they don't just leave it to sit for a day or two or three or four at a time. All right, so the next piece of this video, part B, is going to start off with how do you recognize or how do you know when your room needs to be organized? And that's what we're going to go over next. So I'll see you in part B.